call it chi call it chicharron call it roast pork call it crispy pork belly whatever is your name let's dig it into it come on into jenny's walk and let's put this lovely dish together chicharron hi foodies welcome to my kitchen this is jenny here from jenny's walk so foodies today i'm going to do a nice little uh exciting recipe here for you this is what you will call like a cutters i'm going to be doing pork belly or chicharron so here i have one two pork bellies i cut it in two yeah there you go cut it in two so i got four pieces each and i went ahead and i seasoned it just with some garlic and pepper and some oregano that is all i did with this overnight so here i have this lovely pork as you can see lovely marble with the skin and the meat i have no bone in this this is a boneless um pork belly so i'm going to be doing chicharron uh the puerto ricans you know my husband is puerto rican so puerto ricans have their lovely chicharron that they love to enjoy like from friday night saturday night sunday night or evening where you will go out like it's like an aphrodisiac you will have your nice chicharron and uh, with your rice and bean or just have it crunchy and nice a nice crunch to the skin you know so when you bite that crackly like crunch crunch i'm going to show to you today how we're going to make a lovely chicharron very crunchy there are several ways to do this chicharron you could bake it in the oven or you could fry it so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be frying mine i'm going to boil it first we're going to get it really soft and nice and then we're going to fry to get that lovely crunch so you know on weekends every culture and every island in the caribbean you know they have something going on or those islands even fiji islands and hawaiian islands they all have something so the puerto rican will do their chicharron whereas like in jamaica they will have fish fry and um jerk cookout and barbecue every weekend and some little uh, villages all the villages will have something going on in the island of venezuela in the island of um saint lucia i did go to there and i did enjoy they have a barbecue on every little village they have a nice little barbecue with little music and all of that so it's widespread over the islands the caribbean islands even in countries like guyana you will have like curry goat in the island of trinidad and tobago that lovely beautiful island they have like the pudding the blood pudding from the pork where charlie's pudding they will go and have that with hot hops so everybody have some little twists to end their work week you're working all week you know and you're going to just end it off eating some of these you're going to spoil yourself so here I have my vision pot I already have in there. I have water just to cover the, the pork and I add a half onion. So in here I have one bay leaf, four cloves I'm going to add in there. And I, here I have some black pepper and some black mustard seed. I'm going to add that in just like so. I didn't add any salt so I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt. Now you place your chicharron or pork belly in here just to cover let the water just cover it really nicely just like so and we're going to put it up to boil a nice gentle boil i'm going to add some salt to this let me get that salt so to this i'm going to add like one teaspoonful of salt there we go some salt just in there to give it flavor and we're going to give this a nice gentle boil lovely for like one hour and then we're going to take it down and do part two of it maybe i could add a little more of this give it a little more flavor in there so this is where the flavians will be after this and you fry there's no way you could add any other flavor so whatever flavor you want to acquire you could go ahead like my island brothers and sisters you like a lot of green and green herbs the whole backyard filled okay you want to drop it in drop it in boil it in there in that broth and nice gentle boil we, what we're doing is really cooking the meat and softening the skin and then we're going to acquire a nice crunchy skin i'm going to show to you step by step so shout out to all my island people all my homie my yardy as the guy as the jamaican would say my homeboy as the guy and his brother and sister say we're going to gaff meaning they're going to hang out here in the u.s we say we're going to hang out and in Trinidad, you're going to say, uh, we're going to bust a lime. So we're going to do all those things. My dear foodies, you know all those little slang. So whatever part of the world you're from, and you know your little slang, meaning you're going to hang out or have a good evening, or mean like you're going to bar to have some drinks with your friends, just inbox me there or put a comment, what is your slang? So let's put this up now on medium heat and get this chicharron boiling.
There you go, foodies, a lovely angry boil. Uh, this is 10 minutes into boiling. Let's take a peek and see how it's doing. Right, beautiful. We're gonna, I'm gonna keep the lid on. You don't really have to move this up. Just leave it like that. So, you know, here at Jenny's Walk, we like to create, we like to share, and I'm, we here to learn from each other. So if you have another way in doing this, let me know, put it down in the comment. You could also bake this. I have several different recipes to get a lovely crunchy chicharron. This is just one of the many I want to share here with you today. So lid back on and we're going to go on a, for one hour on this. So let it boil really nicely. So foodies, here is those chicharron or pork belly. It's not chicharron yet, it's pork belly. It becomes chicharron when it fry. So the meat is cooked really nicely and the skin is very soft. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna score it. Just, you just only score in the skin. Just like so. That's a nice superficial cut on the skin. Beautiful. So we're gonna do all of them like that. And you have a generous amount of oil in my old frying pot. My old emerald frying pot. And we're gonna fry this up. Now you gotta be careful because a lot of the time when this pork skin, oops, that one went a little too deep. When the pork skin start frying, it start, the oil start like going crazy in the pot. You know, so just be careful. If it starts to splatter and all of that, just have your cover right there ready to cover that part. So you see that? Lovely. Really nicely. You have some nice scores there. So my put the oil up, let it get a nice good heat, and then we're going to start frying them. And you know, my dear foodies, here at Jenny's Walk, we're here to learn, we're here to share, and we're here to create. So don't forget to share my video with your friends and your family. Go into Jenny's Walk, into community, and start inviting your friends to come on and join, join in these lovely recipes. So you know this is a lovely um, chicharron for a nice even time snack. You could also do it when your friends come over. Um, you're drinking some beers on the patio. This is really lovely, quick and easy, nice, you know, boil it up, fry it up. A nice little cutters, as you would call it. So let's get this frying now. So foodies, my oil is really hot and nice in my nice old pot. You use your old pot to do some frying. You don't want to destroy your good pot. And I'm going to place two at a time. And I'm going to let that come up to a nice fry now. So foodies, there you, so foodies, there you go. Just out of the pot, really hot and crispy. So I'm going to wait and let it cool down a little bit. And then we're going to continue slicing these chicharrona. Okay, foodies, here is our lovely chicharron. You see that nice little crisp, really nice, nice crunch, crispy and lovely. Now, I want to share with you all, when you're frying this, be very careful because the oil tend to splatter. So you need to put your lid on and when you're frying this and be very careful when you turn it because you could get burned very badly that is why i prefer to do the ones in the oven and i will do a recipe upcoming with the oven so we're going to cut this really nicely but we're going to get a nice sharp knife so we have our sharp knife here do you know what is this my dear foodies you remember this granny used to put a corn hocks on the file so you get your file all tight and nice in the corn hocks and she will sharpen that knife really nicely. Remember, a dull knife cuts you, a sharp knife don't. So you sharp your knife really nice with your sharp, with your file. This is a file and this is a corner, so as a handle. Little childhood memory, so leave a comment. Let me see how many of you are still doing stuff like this. So let's get cutting now. That's my bird, he's giving me a hard time. So you see right where you score it, my dear foodies, just like so. You just give it a nice cut down, very gentle, no pressure. Cut it really nicely and you get a uniform cut. Look at that, Look at that my dear foodie. Isn't that lovely? And just move them over and you slice all of them up. Look at the little score there. So you get a piece of the skin come down with that crunchy crunch on it. And you have the meat and some fat all marbled in there, very beautiful. And you know, when you go to the shop, I remember a long time, you know, they had the guy selling this on the outside. 
he cut it up for you nice drop some hot sauce some lime sauce whatever sauce you have and you enjoy it and he will serve it to you not in a container but you're gonna get this served in a piece of the same paper parchment paper greaseproof paper or what are the paper? wax paper and this was really lovely you have it with some hot hop spread as you would say in the island you see the marble the nice meat a little fat the fat under the skin and that crunch isn't that lovely look at that so i'm gonna have the cameraman bite into one of this because you know i don't eat the pork so let me have him just bite onto this and listen to that crunch come on You like it? Yes. You hear that crunch, my dear foodies? He's enjoying it. So let me play this out for you and do a nice presentation. There you go, that lovely chicharron. And let me put it up with some nice sauce. So foodies, here is that lovely chicharron that we did. We give it a good boil. We soak it overnight and we give it a good boil on the stove top with some clove, some peppercorns, a little bit of salt to go with it and half an onion and if you wish to put any herbs into it because what you do you're really flavoring it up and here i have my lovely shiratsa sauce that i made there's a video on my page this is coconut shiratsa sauce really lovely to complement our chicharron so when you visit the islands any island everybody do a roast pork and they do it differently chicharron which is pork belly roast pork whatever you want to call it very crunchy and nice nice crunch there as i say be careful how you frying it because it tends to splatter i will be doing a nice baked one for you coming in upcoming videos so it will be much safer to me i think it's much safer so enjoy this lovely recipe with your friends and your family and do this up a nice weekend your family going to absolutely love you for this having a nice little cup of coffee or a little beer or whatever you enjoy so not a great ex recipe from jenny's walk thank you for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen happy cooking